In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. Now our first step is to solve the white plus sign. So here are a few tips to help you. The first tip on solving the white plus sign is you need to find the white edge pieces. Here I have green. I can go ahead and rotate the top and green matches green and white matches white. Another situation you'll run into is when you have the white and the color on the opposite sides. In order to solve this, all you have to do is take the front, rotate it to one side, and you can either bring it up or you can go ahead and bring it down. I like to bring it down because whatever you see on the yellow side, you'll see on the white side. So I'm going to go ahead, I flipped it down, and now I'm going to rotate it, and I see orange and orange right here. So now I just have to flip the front two times, and I have white and white and orange and orange. So those are the different situations that you'll come across. The next step after solving the white plus sign is to make sure that the sides match the correct colors for the edge pieces. As you can see, I have green and green. Now I need to match my blue. So all I have to do is flip this twice and go ahead and round, go around the whole Rubik's Cube. I'm going to flip that twice and go ahead and flip this twice. Now I'm going to flip it over to look at the yellow side. And now all I have to do is rotate these pieces to match the same color. So blue and blue, and then rotate this. Red and red, and rotate the front, and move the orange, and rotate it. And now flip it over, and I have a white plus sign with all the colors matching the sides. The next step after creating the white plus sign is to make sure I have my white corner pieces where they're supposed to be. So I flip over my Rubik's Cube, and now I'm looking at the yellow side. There's a few situations you're gonna run into. You'll run into pieces that have a white on the side and white on the top. We want our pieces to have white on one side. And all you have to do is find this, the, the color that matches here. So I have blue and blue. So all I have to do is push the top to the right, rotate the front, and back in the top piece and rotate down. As you can see, I have white, red, and blue. Another scenario I'll have is when I have my white on the top. In order to fix this, I go to any side, and I just have to go ahead and I rotate the front, and I move the top to the back and get the piece to the, to the back. Now all I have to do is find the color. So now here I have blue, and I have white, and I have orange. So I have blue and blue matching, and so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna push that piece to the side it's gonna go. I rotate my front up and I back in this piece and you see I have white, blue, and then when I rotate the front down, matches the orange. As you can see, I have my first layer completely done. My next step is to go ahead and to fix my edge pieces. I do that by looking at the top layer and any piece that does not have a yellow will go into one of these sides. Here I have a good example. I see blue and orange and this piece is going to need to go here. I want to match up the same color like I have here with blue. In order to get this piece here, I'm going to go ahead and I point to the piece that I want it to replace. I move my finger up and I push the top layer to the other side. Now I take the left side where I want the piece to go and I bring this up. Now I'm going to take the top layer and I'm going to bring it back to where it was. And then I'm going to bring the left layer, the left side back down to where it was. Now you can start to see I have blue and blue and orange and orange and I have my white piece. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push the top layer to the side where I want it to fit in. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate the front and then I'm going to back in the top and then I'm going to rotate the front again. And there we have our blue and orange piece. I'm going to go ahead and go around and find more pieces just like that. Here I have a, or I have an orange and a green piece. This time I want my orange and my green piece to go over here. So I'm going to do the opposite of what I just did. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm pointing to the piece I want to replace. Bring my finger up and I'm going to push the top layer. Now I'm going to bring the, the right side up and I'm going to bring my top layer back to where it was and I'll bring my right layer back to where it was. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the top and I'm going to push it to the side where I want it to go. I'm going to rotate my front up and then I'm going to back in my top layer. 
and now I'm going to rotate that front back. I have my orange and green piece where I want it and that's all I have to do. Okay, we have our first two layers completed. My next step is to go ahead and make a yellow plus sign. In order to do that, I need to go ahead and I want to make a backwards L with my yellow pieces. In order to do that, I take any side and I make a front, right, up, and then I bring the right side back, the top side back, and the front side back. And now I can go ahead and I can look. I have a backwards L right here. I can also rotate it like this, or I can move the cube however I need it. So I have this now oriented this way with my backwards L. Now I'm gonna do the same algorithm. I'm gonna do the front, right, up, and then I'm gonna bring the right side back, the top side back, and the front side back. And now I have a minus sign. I need to do my algorithm one more time and I'll have a yellow plus sign. So I'm gonna do the front, right, up, and then I'll bring the right side back, then the top side back, and then the front side. And now you can see I have a yellow plus sign. I don't worry about my corners. Okay, now that I have my yellow plus sign, what I need to do is make sure the colors on the side match the correct center pieces. As you can see, I have my red and my green sides matching. So what I need to do is I need to do this algorithm to switch these two pieces. These will be the only two that flip flop. These two will remain where they're supposed to. So I do the right side up and move the top up once. Bring the right side back down and I move the top up one time. I bring the right side up again and I bring the top two times where I see the white piece again. I rotate the right side down and now I go ahead and I can move the top side and I have blue and blue, orange and orange, green and green, and red and red. All right, for my next step, I need to make sure I have my corner pieces in the correct spots matching the colors. Here I have green, orange, and yellow. That doesn't match. This corner doesn't match. This corner doesn't match and this corner doesn't match the three colors. So I'm just going to pick one side and I'm gonna do this algorithm so that way one of the pieces will then be in the correct spot in the top right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the right side up. I'm gonna move the top to the left. Bring the right side back, bring the top back. Now it looks like I'm looking at a headlight. Now I'm gonna bring the left side up and I bring my top to the left and then I rotate my right side up, and then I bring the top back where I can see my two headlights again. I rotate each side down, and now I need to go around looking for the corner piece that matches. I see a green, orange, and yellow. Those are the three colors right here, so I'm gonna put this piece in the front right. Now I'm gonna do that same algorithm because that's going to rotate these three corner pieces to making sure that they have the correct colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring the right side up and bring the top over and the right side back and bring the top back so I see the headlight. Bring the left side up, bring the top to the left, bring my right side up and bring the top back so I see the two headlights. Rotate the front, rotate the two sides back. This piece stayed the same, this piece rotated. The next time this red green piece will come here, this orange and blue piece will move over to the correct side, and this piece will move here. So I'm gonna do the algorithm one more time. We're gonna bring the right side up, move the top to the left, bring the right side back, and bring the top back. I'm looking at my headlight. Bring the left up, bring the top over to the left, bring the right side up, and now I'm gonna bring the top back, and I'm looking at my headlights, and bring each side down. Now I have each corner matching the three colors. Now that I have my corner pieces matching the correct colors, all I have to do is one more algorithm. All I have to do is bring the right side down and push the bottom to the left. Bring the right side back up and bring my bottom back. Bring the right side down, move my bottom to the left, bring my right side back up and bring the bottom back. 
Some people forget to bring the bottom back because they're so excited because they see that yellow piece. Now, some people want to turn the whole cube. You don't do that. All you have to do is rotate the top, the top layer. I'm going to do the same algorithm. I bring the right side down and bring the bottom side to the left. Bring the right side back up, move the bottom layer back. Bring the right side down, move the bottom layer to the left. Bring the right side back up, bring the bottom layer back. Bring the right side down, move the bottom layer to the left. Bring the right side back up, move the bottom layer to the right. Move my right side down and bring, move my bottom layer to the left. Bring my right side back up and before I do anything I need to make sure I move my right side back, my bottom piece back. Now I rotate the top and I'm going to do that same algorithm. And then I rotate the top and there you go. We have a solid Rubik's Cube. Thanks for watching Math with Mr. B. Make sure to click that subscribe button. And until next time, later.